coming back to reality in three, two, one, and here we are again. Oh, Sonic, don't give me that look. I know it took so long to get that one Chaos Emerald, but come on. I fixed them. But anyway, well, guys, welcome back to Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Creepy to grow here. And I just got that last Chaos Emerald, and it felt good. Right near the end of this level, too. Now, if you haven't been hearing what I've been saying in the past ones, or just haven't watched the past ones, then... What getting all the Chaos Emeralds in this game does is not only does it give you a good ending, like Sonic 1 does, because it's kind of a given. You have to be given a good ending for getting all the Chaos Emeralds. It's only like a tradition at this point for Sonic games to do that. I hate that bad name. But when you get all of the Chaos Emeralds in Sonic 2, then you get something special. I'm just getting extra rings. Okay, well, that was pointless. And it brings me to this thing. Yeah, there's a lot of traps in this level. But there's the glitch where it gives you 12 rings instead of 3. Because in case you didn't see, my ring count went from 12 immediately all the way to 24. Because there's actually 3 columns of rings placed there. Fun fact. Thanks, Cybershell. Thanks, Cutting Room Floor. Mostly thanks to Cutting Room Floor and cyber shelf instead of like other sources because they're really helpful when it comes to things like this really and i gotta go all the way back when i was younger i didn't realize you had to go all the way back for this thing to respawn down here i'm not pulling any punches sorry game i like to get my rings so i can show off what the thing does because it's cool because I can't do it in the last level. I get all the Chaos Emeralds probably not even to be able to show you what exactly it does once you get them all. That'd be awesome. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's even greater. Greater. You go down. Oh, thank you. It brought me back here. Die. Just die. It might repeat itself a lot, but this song is really good. Alright, here we go. You ready, guys? Once you have 50 rings and you jump into the air, yeah! Invincible Supersonic. He is only vulnerable to crush, drown, and falling into a pit because really, that'd be kind of unfair if he wasn't, to be honest. Especially the crushing. That'd be too unfair. But he moves extremely fast. But you lose a ring every second. If you have no rings by the time Supersonic is done, then yeah. Also, if you can't tell, he has way better jumping power. Like, he has really good jumping power. It's nuts. Still need to use these. And just look at Sonic. He's got Super Saiyan hair. Which is, just makes it more worth it. Also, this music is really good. Unfortunately, I kind of have to do that in order to get by. And you do need a lot of rings. But Supersonic is really helpful during bosses, because you can just tap someone without even worrying. I'm not going to use that. That's stupid. Why would I use something that would help me when I don't need it? Okay. Oh, cool. I got an extra life. But it is hard to do precision platforming with this dude, because um, he does have insane speed. And that can sometimes hindrance your ability to just do normal platforming. Just a little bit. Do, 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 do. Cool, a shield if I lose my supersonic. Yes, he is called supersonic. Almost super saiyan, just not super saiyan. Yeah, I'm trying to stay on. 
kind of hard. That's not what I wanted. Oh, when will the sack be over? Oh, here there it is. Got it. This is the reason why I hate Metropolis Act 3. In case you noticed, this act has this act. This act has three acts. Really. Yay. This zone has three acts. Only because there was a more city-like level in the original version of the game that was planned, but it was scrapped, and so to take um, advantage of the data, they just made a third act of Metropolis. It's fine, but everyone knows that three acts is too much. There's only certain like little things that can like that are immune to that rule. And certain is not to be taken with a grain of salt. Good thing that thing didn't crush me. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Okay, I am a little bit from you. Okay. We. zone's really good, despite being, like, repetitive with this beat, like, main part of the track. It's really good, like, in an other sense. Like, at least it tries to change things up. That would have made me so mad if I didn't have all the chaos remotes. But I do! So I can do this! Yes! Go, Sonic! Go, Sonic! Don't get crushed, Sonic. Go, Sonic! That didn't help. I want my rings! Stop! Stop! Ugh! I actually wanted rings! There. You may now do it as much as you wish. Even though, technically, that's wasting more rings, to be honest. What am I doing? Let me just do this. Oh, whoops. Oh, I thought I was dead. I thought I was dead. Haha, <laughs> you cannot affect me. What? Okay. I'm not gonna question what happened there. All I know that whatever happened there is something that happened and it should be ashamed of itself. There's a good catacris line for you. Also, he is not spinning it, but he is also spinning it. I am losing rings very rapidly from this. Go, go, go. I need more rings. That's a death pit. That tells you that this is the boss. Don't go this way. Don't go that way yet. Oh no, it's him. And he's attacking with bulls. I'm scared. No, not really. It's a little annoying. Cause sometimes it can be hard to kill him when he does that. He's doing with him. I'm so scared. And yet I say that as I die, and the UI got screwed up. This is actually kind of an annoying boss to beat, unless you're like really good. But at least you always can get a ring back pretty easily. And you always have invincibility frames as your friend. But when you have no rings, yeah. Oh no! I only have one life left! I don't want to redo this act. They'll take this way longer than it needs to be. 
And I have Sky Chase Zone after this. I have Sky Chase and a Wing Fortress after this, which I could easily just kill myself in. Just die, please. It would make my life so much easier if you just end yourself right now instead of having to let me do it. Yeah, but these are the things you have to defeat. Give me that, please. Are you kidding? No! I'm gonna die! I can't live! I'm dead. Game over. Thankfully, I got a crap ton of continues through this game, and you keep your Chaos Emeralds. The bad thing about it, you don't keep your score. <laughs> oh, by the way, Tails is trying to help me despite not even being on my side. But whatever, I'll use one. Considering it's one of the only couple ones I got. But I gotta redo this entire act now. Thank you. When time to see the things you've already seen. And with less rings. I can definitely tell that that boss is like one of the bosses that's made for you to try and attempt to do, at least, with Supersonic. So this time I'm gonna try and jump as l less as possible until I definitely have like so many extra rings or I'm near the end because then that'll help me a lot. Again, it didn't crush me. I actually remembered that it was there and I'm surprised it still didn't crush me. <laughs> Oh cool, it didn't kill me. Good boy. No! No! <gasps> Time to get through this zone again. Please don't kill me. Please do not tread on my roots. It would not be a wise decision. I feel like some apple pie. Kirby's avalanche, anybody? Okay. Just don't get hit. Just don't get hit. I'm forced to jump now. Well, whatever. Game needs me to jump. I'm gonna jump. It's the only time I actually need to jump. I'll jump. I'll relinquish. I'll relinquish. I want the rings! Game, please! Can I just get that one box of rings without having to worry about my life choices? Nope. Remember you. And I'm just saying, how about no? No! Push the button! Okay, that's not the one I gotta worry about. The other one's the one I gotta worry about, okay? And that's past the checkpoint, too, so. Okay, didn't crush me. Sometimes it can crush you and it can just ruin your day. It happened again! Can you, like, just camera correctly, please? You have a really high jump, so as soon as the ledge shows up on screen, then you can definitely jump to it. Look right there. You can also kind of make an estimated guess, but it's not that safe. Don't press any directions, and that helps you way more. Oh, there we go! Hurry up! Sonic has impatience. Get it! Get it! Okay. Come here, come on. Come at me. You can't stop me. I am super sonic. You cannot stop this. You are dead, boy. So is your stupid balloon. Still super when I hit it. Let's go. Time for the edge pose. Sonic's free out. Time for Sky Chase Zone. Tails, what are you doing? You are not on my team. What are you doing? You're breaking this. I hate Sky Chase Zone. Even though it is a cool concept, I will give it that. It is a cool concept. 
for you to be Sonic in a plane instead of on the ground, but it controls. Oh, the controls. At least you can use these turtles as like big platforms. And Tails is pretty good at following you. I'll give Tails that. He's actually pretty damn good at following you. But the thing about the stage is, it's easier and harder with Supersonic for two reasons. It's harder because if you just run at full speed, you will fall off the plane and you will lose a life. It's easier because obviously you can't take damage from any of these em enemy enemies, which is actually an easy thing to do because this zone. Oh, these turtle enemies. Despite them looking s like simple and just shooting like a tiny bullet out of the big one that you can use as a platform, no, don't. Don't think that you're free from from being completely relan relinquished in death. And there's the Wing Fortress. Which means about half of this zone is over. And Sonic's getting tired of this. Just like how I am. Will you lay down? Before something tries to kill him? Yep! <laughs> He's like, dude, come on. He He's resting his arm on Tails' ear, by the way. I know Tails isn't the best thing in the world, but you're such an asshole about it. Come on, Sonic. You're better than this. Yes! Now you have to be slow, but at least you can't take damage. So you can just stand anywhere. Never mind. <laughs> By the way, this is not a cutscene, so you actually have to do this. You have to manually jump. I know it sounds dumb, but you have to manually jump. The hardest normal zone of the entire game, Wing Fortress Zone. Ah, uh, We are so close, guys. I'm so close from getting the main game done and only having one more thing to do here. I hate those bad nicks. Well, at least I got a mirror. Also, I already have 40 rings. No, don't you dare. Ha 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 ha! This jump would not be... Okay. Oh! Goodbye, Tails. Hope you have a good life. Dying. Sounds like fun to me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Seriously, chill out. Wow, 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 wow. I'm forced to jump, aren't I? Is there, isn't there something up here that I can use? So I don't have to deal with this? Yeah, actually, if you're supersonic, you can just get up here early. Good. I don't have to deal with half the stage. Let's go! Yeah, this is the last stage where you can get Chaos Emeralds, by the way. So this is your last shimmering, like, sense of hope ever in this entire game for getting Chaos Emeralds. Your last. So, if you're trying to get all the rest of the Chaos Emeralds, this is your last a couple of attempts. Do not screw up here. This is the worst place to screw it up. I'm not even gonna question why they're sitting there, unless there's supposed to be a platform right there, or if they're just sitting there like that, like as an extra, like, hey, you want some free rings? You have to be careful, because sometimes there are pitfalls that you cannot see, and getting pitfalls is not cool for this stage. Thankfully, most of this section is not pit is pitfall free, so you don't need to really worry that much. Except for this section. You do have to worry for this section. Oh, time to move. I almost killed myself. Which way am I supposed to go? Oh, this way. <laughs> there is a boss in this stage, so don't think that you're also completely out of the park when it comes to, like, instantaneous death areas. I fell all the way back down to the bottom. That's what happened. I fell even more down to the bottom. I'm wasting rings. I am extremely wasting rings. 
Please. Just let me. Thank you. Can you just go back to, like, the section over here? Yeah, can't I? There is a way around this, but I'm not seeing it. I am really not seeing it. Please. I have super something. I don't want to waste it. I'm wasting supersonic. Wasting supersonic is bad. No, let me free. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna die. One extra second. Well, that's it. All I have is a barrier. And one ring. That's all I have. I can't even really go down that easily. Unless I, I unless I risk my life. And I only have one more continue after this. This one ring. Please, this one ring is my best friend right now. And I am in full need of him doing what I want him to do. By the way, those rotator blades actually do hurt Sonic. So don't think that you're also out of the park with that. I am making it to the top platform, screw you. Oh yeah, you have to grab one of those, don't you? No, 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 no. Going back up here, sorry. Uh, where do I go? Where do I go? Do I go through here? No, that's a wall. I actually didn't know that that was a wall. Huh, I actually did not know that that was a wall. The problem is, this is a wall, this brings me back, if I'm idiotic. See? Unless this is telling me to do something that I haven't seen, in which case, then I kind of feel like an idiot. I killed myself. I only have one continue after this. This zone is relentless. It will not stop until it knows you are fried. <laughs> Physics. There we go, Sonic. Hurt yourself, please. Don't say that to a human. Say that to a robot. Because they actually deserve it. They deserve you to tell them that they need to hurt themselves. At least it doesn't affect me from getting any rings. Except for maybe these rings. Do 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 do. Yeah, but getting extra rings is a thing that, like, needs to happen in this zone. I think I have to jump up there as supersonic and I can get something. I can get past, like, easier. So I'm gonna get this barrier. Which helps me a bundle. Yes, it's enough! Go. Supersonic. Now, I only have a minute to do this correctly, but is there something up here that isn't these? Even though that is 30 extra seconds of- STOP! Yes, it is a way to get past this easier. Because I have more free roam. I am closer to the boss now. I can't precision platform that well, but at least I can do this. Yes, I believe I'm near the boss! I am right next to the boss. I'm so near the boss. Yeah, this is the boss! Yes! Yes! I 
I will admit, the final boss of this game is pretty hard. But, there is something that you're not seeing. It's called Exploits, and it's also called Patience. Now let me go. Okay. That's where Ro Robotnik was. But now he's all the way over here. Also, Sonic Sprite is not correct. Go, Sonic. They had to make him normal, even if he has this palette. That way, it's, um... You're able for Sonic to actually go up here. Tails flies up here. This one is a cutscene that has nothing happen. Yeah, I did not jump there. But now Sonic is holding on. As Robotnik goes... Into the final frontier. Space. And docks himself on the Death Egg, which is his new ultimate weapon. And now it's time for the hardest area in the game. Unless you're me, in which case you know how to do this. Fourth hit, you jump. That is so easy. It's a joke. The next thing is the main part of this boss fight, okay? If you do what I did there, you should be fine. I'm gonna get you! Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute! Uh-oh! It's a big tubby robot! Yeah. That's what happens if you have no patience like I do. Thankfully, I have another continue. There's no rings in this zone that you can find unless you're in debug mode, in which case it's actually one of the only things that you can place in this zone is a ring. That's all. So it definitely makes it easier. Dead. <laughs> Not even 20 seconds in, you're just dead. Hey you. Hey Tubby. Nobody calls me Tubby. His buttons just shake. Like, one pixel off. Oh no, it's Tubby Robot again. The thing about this guy is you have to be patient. Unlike me, where I definitely was not patient. So when he has both of his arms like this, and you jump at the right time, you should hit him. When he does this, he lunges forward and gets you an easy hit. Like this. But I, did, I just didn't do it, because I'm stupid. You can hit him again. Oh! This final boss music is epic. I love it. Every fiber of my being, I love this music. You, you can also hit him right there if you have really good uh, accuracy, but that's where the patience part comes in. Because this guy has 16 hits, no rings. Five-year-olds rejoice in relinquished anger. That's the thing I hate about hitting him when he lunges forward. How long has this gone on for? 30 minutes. I can definitely make this the shortest one of them all. Maybe. The debug mode and level select code one might be a tad bit uh, shorter. Because it's just talking about the codes in the game. Idiot. <laughs> that's so easy. It's this guy that's the problem. By the way, if you're super- if you hack yourself or debug yourself to become supersonic, he will still go at that same freaking Super Saiyan speed, and he still will not catch up to Robotnik. I'm not kidding, either. It's dumb. But what I like about hitting him here is that I can actually hit him, and you know what happens? I have the ability to live. See? I actually get through. See, I get to hit him. I'm gonna hit him extra, just because I can. Also, I'm kind of lazy right now, so I really don't care. Yeah, but he has a, this cylindrical pattern. Step at you a couple times while, like, moving his arms forward to try and kill you. 
because they will kill you if you are not careful. So you have to be careful. Lunge your lunge forward after jumping to lunge his arms at you. Go back into the air, dive forward again to give you the five-year-olds a chance to hit him again. Go straight, and then repeat the cycle until either you die or he dies. You pick which pick whichever path you wish. I take the one where he dies. Trust me, I picked that one on so many levels. He's easy if you know a pattern correctly. If you know what patterns are, then this guy is a joke. Oh yeah, they don't even reach me. Oh. Take it, Robotnik! This time I think I'm gonna get him. I might die if I'm not careful. Nope, he's just dead. Goodbye. And that's the end of the game. And... Sonic is free. Here's the ending cutscene. Tails and his animal f and Sonic's animal friends notice that, um, the thing kind of exploded. And Tails has an epiphany. He should probably go save Sonic. So, what does he do? He hops in the tornado, you know, the thing that you were on in Sky Chase Zone, and then with the flickies g behind him, he starts the plane, and he takes off, and then this happens. I'll be silent for the rest of this. Well, he's not supersonic if you don't have all the Chaos Emeralds. And that's Sonic 2. Cast of characters. Except it's just the credits. And you get to hear another medley of all the Zones theme songs. Including all the Player 2 themes that you only hear when you play with the second player and the competition mode. Which is actually pretty cool. But yeah, that was Sonic 2. I'm still gonna have another episode after this, the fourth one, which is gonna be me going through the debug mode, the level select, and other codes. That will be going up today, later, and if I have time. If you guys are lucky, I will upload the video talking about Nintendo Switch Online and get that out of the way. That is a video that's gonna have to be edited together. This is Misty Cave's Player 2 theme. What's now known as Hidden Palace Zones theme. But I'll show you what Hidden Palace Zones theme was supposed to be. But yeah, that was Sonic 2. I'd say it's my third favorite of the classic Sonic games. That aren't Mania. Casino Night 2 player. Two player Emerald Hill. Now we're back to the normal themes. Yeah, but I'll be talking about all the codes that this game has. And there's a lot. I believe I missed some in Sonic 1. But I just don't have patience, and I wanted to show you the level select and debug codes, because I could. But there are more codes in this game. There's one for 14 continues, there's one that gives you all the Chaos Emeralds. There's level select and debug mode. the sparkles but anyway guys that was Sonic the Hedgehog 2 
shown by Sega. Mm. Yes, I will show you the codes and stuff, but that will be in a separate video because it's too long of a video here for me to go into it. So I'm just going to instead show you how the two player is like because I do have a second controller plugged in. Yeah. Second player is Tails, but I don't have the second controller like actually like being used by someone. So instead, yeah, this is just how it looks. All these boxes are mysteries. Some of them could be transport boxes, some of them could be shields. However, you can switch them all to be transport boxes, which can kind of throw the game off a little bit and actually make this competition mode actually a little bit fun. But the thing I wanted to show about this is look how ugly it is. Look at it. It's bad. Please don't be a transport. Nope, it's speed seekers. Okay, rushing is actually not achieving much for me in this stage. I thought Aquatic Ruin was bad at doing that. Beat it. Now you have only a minute as the second player to beat the zone. Since that's how I was before, I'm gonna actually try and do it through Tails. Transport boxes no longer exist at this point, by the way. Just as a little heads up. So instead, I'm just gonna run through just quickly, and I get hit. <laughs> oh, and, and if you're wondering, uh, Tails can spin dash too. So you don't have to worry about no spin dashes Tails. Unfortunately, despite him showing that he can fly in other versions of um, the game where you play as Sonic and Tails, instead of just how I did it, which was Sonic alone, um, Tails cannot fly himself, but he will fly into view if he's controlled by a CPU. I barely have time left. Come on, I can make it. I cannot make it. Goodbye, Tails. Tails is gonna die. And... Dead. If I press A on my controller, it just tells me that one player wins. Even though we tied with item boxes. But that means that I've gotten more points, and I've gotten the win. From getting better score, better time, better rings, and total rings. So being fast is not the only thing you want when you play through this. It'll go to the next, but I'm just not gonna, no, not gonna deal with that. Just flat out. I'll just go back to the game's title, and I'll say, that was really stressful. I don't know why, but that was also really fun. So in any way, thank you guys for watching. Um, subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Like the video. Share the video with your friends. And give me a comment. Tell me what you thought about it as the demo rolls. But thank you guys for watching, and this is Creepy Duro signing out. So stay tuned, and take care. Bye. Wow, this was some kind of trip.